This is top 30. North Carolina and South Carolina have been battered by heavy rain, wind and flooding and possible tornadoes. At least 98,000 homes and businesses lost power across the Carolinas after storms swept through on Monday. Some areas got seven inches of rain per hour. Several homes had roofs or walls ripped off. At least eight planes and two hangars were destroyed at an airport outside of Charlotte. This is Joanne Perez of Shelby, North Carolina. She arrived home Monday to find her home pushed away from its foundation. Area hospitals report treating people for minor injuries. Luckily, no deaths have been reported so far. The National Weather Service is tracking as many as nine tornadoes in the area, and they warn that parts of the Northeast could see torrential rain, leading to flash floods in areas of New York, New Jersey, New England, and Pennsylvania. Right now, there are about 30 million people in the Northeast threatened by severe weather. These are your quick hits. Scientists have discovered 72 previously unknown genetic mutations that lead to the development of breast cancer. Researchers are confident this will help in understanding the origins of the disease. Billy Joel welcomed baby number three with his fourth wife, Alexis. The 68-year-old five-time Grammy winner welcomed the adorable Remy Ann to the world on Sunday. She weighed seven pounds and three ounces. And nine-year-old Elijah Davies was so concerned when he learned President Trump was only taking a $1 salary, he sent him $3 from his piggy bank. How is he going to eat or drink? Or, you know, pay if he needs to pay for um, his bill, water bill or anything. He got a letter back from the president with his $3 urging him to use the money to better his community. According to Heather Solaji, she was traveling from London to Vancouver when she says she saw the first bed bug crawl out from the in-flight television. Heather seemed sure they were bed bugs because she'd worked in hotels before, so Heather quietly alerted a flight attendant who told her the flight was full and she couldn't move seats. Heather and her daughter said they did the best they could to get through the flight while being attacked by bed bugs. CTV News reported Solaji said it was nine hours of knowing that I was probably going to get bit but not being sure. British Airways couldn't guarantee a bed bug free return flight and said they planned to investigate. Instead, they gave Solaji and her family a free upgrade. The Guardian reported a British Airways spokesperson said reports of bed bugs on board are extremely rare. Nevertheless, we are vigilant and continually monitor our aircraft. Those alleged bed bugs achieve something humans rarely do. They found something on an aeroplane they actually wanted to eat. Let's go to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Laurie Rothman. Laurie, I'm hearing big things about the Amazon wine department. That's right, Richard. Amazon is shutting down its online wine business by the end of the year. The company telling wine sellers that Amazon wine will close December 31st. Due to current alcohol industry regulations, the company itself cannot sell wine, but suppliers can still make their products available through Amazon Fresh, Prime Now, and Whole Foods. Are you in it to win it? Starting this weekend, the Mega Millions lottery will cost twice as much to play and feature bigger prizes. Lottery officials say the changes are in response to customers who want big jackpots. The new structure is expected to speed up jackpot growth and boost the likelihood of a jackpot reaching $1 billion. And Facebook is planning to change its news feed again, the company confirming that it's trying out the idea of dividing the site so that it can separate commercial posts and pages from personal news. This could be a cause concern for publishers because it could mean that the only way their content will be seen is if they pay. Laurie, has this been tested anywhere? Well, Richard, the new feature has been tested in six markets, which include Sri Lanka, Bolivia, Slovakia, Serbia, Guatemala, and Cambodia. Facebook says there are currently no plans to expand it. The World Series matchup is set, and a lot of people are picking the Astros to beat the Dodgers, including one prediction from three years ago. Check out the cover of the Sports Illustrated issue for June 30th, 2014. It features a picture of Astros center fielder George Springer with the caption, your 2017 World Series champs. Houston beat the New York Yankees last week and now need to win one more series to make that prediction come true. 
At the time the article was published, Houston was about to finish the season in last place for the fourth year in a row. In fact, the Houston Chronicle called the cover an attention grab, tongue-in-cheek projection, and people on Twitter echoed that statement, mocking SI, saying the headline was essentially clickbait for magazines. Well, it looks like Sports Illustrated and the Astros may get the last laugh. The number of women accusing Hollywood director and writer James Toback of sexual harassment has increased to almost 250. The Los Angeles Times published an investigation on Sunday in which 38 women came forward. And within the next few days, the Times says more than 200 women contacted the paper with similar stories, although they could not verify those claims. The Times reports most of the 200 women had a similar story to the original accusers. They said Toback would approach them, offer them a part in a movie and make a wide range of unwanted sexual advances. Toback was nominated for a screenwriting Oscar for the 1991 film Bugsy. The Times reports Toback has denied the allegations, saying he never met the women or if he did, it was for five minutes and he didn't remember. More than 61 million Americans collect Social Security benefits. Changes have been announced to the program for next year. Americans will receive 2% more per month, or about $27 on average. There is good news for those making the maximum monthly benefit. They will receive an increase of $101 a month. More high-earning Americans will now pay more of their income towards Social Security. The cap for those who file as individuals and have to pay into Social Security rises to $128,700. Those people will pay at least $93 more a year. Earnings beyond that won't be taxed more. The full retirement age is going up for newly eligible retirees. Those born in 1956 will have to wait until they're 66 years and four months old to get 100% of their benefits. Those who are still working but have started collecting Social Security are penalized if they make income over a certain threshold. For 2018, that cutoff will go up to just over $17,000. For more details on how your benefits could be changing, we have posted some information on the Top 30 Facebook page. One in five women have an addiction to tanning salons. This startling fact comes from a journal of the American Association for Cancer Research and warns that even just one indoor tanning session increases your chances of developing melanoma by 20%. A survey of nearly 400 white women who had tanned in a salon in the last 12 months found that 22.6% showed a dependency on it. One professor of dermatology says, people know it's bad, but they still do it. The process of tanning releases endorphins, so you feel good when you're doing it. But after the initial endorphin high, there's also a low, which is why the study also found that depression was more prevalent in the women addicted to tanning. Some of the skin damage can take 10 to 20 years to show up. So for the sake of your physical and emotional health, maybe think twice. Linda Walton takes the term model employee to new heights. And the best part is that her boss at Pristine Clean and Organizational Services actually appreciates her hard work and dedication. She's never missed a day of work since she started working for me. The company's owner, Chrissy Tomorrow, told Top 30, once we found out she was depending on others to take her to work or would sometimes ride the bus for two hours and walk 30 or 40 minutes, we knew we had to do something. So it was with great pleasure that her Memphis, Tennessee team Team, surprised Miss Linda with her very own car. All the employees played an important role, with one giving her a $100 gas card and another footing the bill for her first month of insurance. Chrissy told Top 30, once we came up with the car idea, it all came together within nine hours. God had a hand in it. Linda is such a beautiful person and we're so proud to have her on the team. Looks like Oprah's not the only one giving out cars these days. Scientists are alarmed by a new study that says the world's insects are vanishing. The amount of flying insects in European nature preserves decreased by 76% since 1989. This according to new research in the journal PLOS One. The authors warn the study's findings put Earth on a course for ecological Armageddon. The impact for humans could be profound. Insects like flies, bees, and butterflies help pollinate our fruits and vegetables. They're also a source of food for other animals that humans consume, including birds and fish. 
Scientists aren't sure what's happening to the world's bugs. Some suspect the use of pesticides and changing weather patterns due to climate change may play a role. The studied authors said more work is needed to explain what's happening and learn what we can do about it. Backlash over a controversial Halloween costume led online retailers to stop selling it and some other costumes are coming under fire as well. The World War II Anne Frank girls costume was listed on HalloweenCostumes.com and shows a young girl in a blue dress wearing a green beret and carrying a brown shoulder bag. Jewish leaders said Anne Frank's memory should not be trivialized through a costume. The website removed the costume and apologized, but it's not the only costume people are upset about. This costume is similar to the character Eleven from Stranger Things. Some people say the lowered neckline and high heels added to the costume sexualized as a minor. And a warning for parents who are thinking about dressing their child up as the Disney character Moana. There's a debate online over whether the costume could be considered cultural appropriation since it's a character of Polynesian descent. In today's hometown stories from Fox 5 DC, Deshay Morton set a goal to collect 500 cases of water for the victims of Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico by her 12th birthday, October 10th. With the help of her mom and grandmother, she reached out to her community using the hashtag Project Give Back. When the big day came around, she had collected 460 cases. Deshay then used money she got as a birthday present to buy the remaining 40 cases. Well, Project Give Back has taken on a life of its own. She's now collecting over 3,000 cases of water, along with other non-perishable items. In our second story from Fox 10 Phoenix, Sergio and Javier Moreno had a birthday party they'll never forget, all thanks to the Peoria, Arizona police and fire departments. After not many friends and family showed up to their birthday party, their mother, Jessica, desperately asked any first responders who weren't busy to stop by. Well, not only did many first responders answer the call, they also brought the boys presents and let them sit in the fire truck. The boy said it was the best birthday ever. In our final story from Fox 29 Philadelphia, history was made when David Fleming was promoted to Brigadier General, making him the first African-American general of the Delaware Army National Guard. General Fleming has over 25 years of experience in law enforcement, and he's the father of nine children and five grandchildren. At the promotion ceremony, he told members of the National Guard to move heaven and earth to get where you want to go. An organized crime ring has been uncovered thanks to two men who ran out on a $7 restaurant bill. Police in Louisiana were called to a Waffle House last week after employees reported two men who left without paying in a U-Haul van. A van matching that description was found nearby after a chase through the woods with police dogs, both the driver and a passenger were arrested. When they searched the van, police found fake IDs, counterfeit credit cards and a Waffle House receipt for $7.41. Authorities now say the men were part of a highly sophisticated identity theft scheme operating out of Los Angeles. They were allegedly installing skimming devices at gas stations to steal customers' credit card information. The Secret Service is now involved in the investigation. Perhaps they will learn why two people who allegedly possessed lots of other people's credit cards ran out on a check for $7. The answer could be that criminals like this aren't very clever. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, one in three American adults have high blood pressure, and nine out of 10 Americans over 50 have a risk of getting it. Most critically, a new study says half of those with high blood pressure are not managing it, despite the fact that they have insurance and regularly see a doctor. Which is why we're presenting you with today's top 30 deal, Vita Goods Wrist Blood Pressure Monitor at a special 61% discount. This blood pressure monitor is a convenient, discreet, and accurate way to monitor your blood pressure. All you have to do is fasten it to your wrist, and in one touch, it auto inflates and deflates. It's got a large LCD display, a 60 reading device memory to easily track blood pressure over time, and a hardcover travel case. Vita Goods Wrist Blood Pressure Monitor retails for as much as $100. But today you can buy it for just 39 bucks. That's again about a 61% discount. And you can get this right now at top30deals.com while they last. 
Model Chris Garofalo threw his big sister a birthday party she'll never forget. Chris's sister, Brittany, has Down syndrome. When Chris started showing her pictures from his photo shoots, Brittany said she wanted to model too. And Chris was determined to make that dream come true. He tapped into his social media network to recruit photographers, videographers, and a glam squad for a surprise photo shoot. When Brittany's 32nd birthday arrived, Chris drove her to the shoot location just outside of Boston. She was completely shocked to find an entire crew waiting for her. Chris said Brittany took her modeling role very seriously. He said she was a supermodel and she knew it. She did a lot better than many of the models I've worked with. I was very impressed. Chris said he wants people to question what they think is beautiful and show that people with disabilities should have the same opportunities as anyone else. A company called Sidewalk Labs is taking over 800 acres in Toronto and will transform it into a high-tech city. The experiment wants to restructure how cars and people interact, so they've created a smart crosswalk in which LED lights in the road surface respond to the movements of people, cyclists and vehicles. For example, if a distracted pedestrian starts to cross against the light, the sidewalk beneath lights up with a personalized warning signal, or if a child runs between parked cars, drivers are notified with a red buffer zone that forms on the road around them. According to the World Health Organization, more than 270,000 pedestrians worldwide lose their lives every year to road traffic injuries. Whether or not this whole idea is actually effective remains to be seen. We often wonder why the cost of healthcare is so high. Well, a new study might hold a clue. ProPublica says the reason your eye drops often run down your face isn't because you have bad aim. It's because drug companies deliberately make drops too big so that you'll go through them faster and have to buy more. That might cost just a few bucks for over-the-counter eye drops. But medication for eye conditions like glaucoma can cost hundreds of dollars a month. The maximum amount of fluid the eye can absorb from a drop is seven microliters, but the average drop on sale today administers anywhere from 25 to 56 microliters. According to Market Scope, last year alone, drug companies made over $3 billion on medication for glaucoma and dry eyes. One doctor said he tried to push for smaller drops after patients complained. He said the drug makers he spoke to had no interest in people, their pocketbooks, or what the cost of drugs meant. The study is part of an ongoing series by ProPublica about waste in the healthcare industry. It's something we've heard, but now now there's actually numbers behind it. A $125 million island is for sale off the coast of New York, and on the island is a house where Jackie Kennedy stayed after President Kennedy's assassination. Tesaurus Island is 46 acres of land, has six houses, and also has a 28-acre pond. The main house features 11 bedrooms, which doesn't include the servants' quarters, has a dining room that seats a hundred people and features views of the Manhattan skyline. Also on the island is a massive pool and a pool house, a formal garden, two helicopter pads and a 250 foot dock. This is only the third time the estate has been put up for sale in its 100 year history. Scott Childs wanted his girlfriend, Amber Glenn Thomas, to know just how much he loved her. So he launched the master plan on her birthday, but he wanted to do something extra special. So instead of sending her on a scavenger hunt for her birthday, it was actually to propose. The scavenger hunt became a tour of their relationship. Using letters from Scott, a friend was at each location to help Amber relive their love story. And at the final location, a grassy hill, Scott got down on one knee and asked Amber to be his wife. Amber told Fox 46 Charlotte, there were seven letters in total and each letter discussed a part of our love story. He also explained in each letter why the family or friend that was there waiting for me was included. The high school sweethearts broke up, then reunited nine years later and have been together ever since. And we love their love story. According to the New York Post, race bandits, people who counterfeit racing bibs, are turning to social media to perfect their con. Excited participants often post their racing bib on Instagram or Facebook before their big race. Race bandits can find these posts through hashtags and then replicate the bib to run the race without qualifying or paying registration fees. Runner's World told the story of Cara Buno, who discovered not one, but four people 
used her bib number to run the Boston Marathon after she posted her bib on social media. In response to this growing problem, the New York Road Runners, organizers of the NYC Marathon, started the Respect the Run campaign. The goal is to raise awareness as banditing is both a safety and financial concern. How about instead of being really good at copying their number, be really good at running. That's it for today's Top 30. Don't forget, you can get the wrist blood pressure monitor for 61% off at top30deals.com. And on our next show, America's schools are facing a new threat, hackers. It might be even harder to explore Mars, and a baby cow abandoned by his herd gets a new family. It's all coming up on the next Top 30.